Today I'm going to talk about what impacts the construction of Tesla's Tech Giga Texas Gigafactory. Thanks to our friend Joe Techmeyer, we have an August 6 uh, drone news update from Tesla Gigafactory in Texas. Joe says, I have identified and talked with the primary survey company for the construction of Giga Texas site and they are paying industries. Here is the text with their information and some key uh, things that I'm going to talk about now that Joe says he has learned today that impact the construction progress moving forward which is pretty cool to know and welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel if you would like to know more about Tesla and gigafactories as well as electric cars and please like this video to show your appreciation of our friend Joe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story Joe Techmeyer who regularly goes to Giga Texas and takes videos and shares with our community yesterday Today on August 6 wrote me saying this work continues brisky at Giga Texas today meaning uh, August 6 and we now know the primary survey company that is doing all of the measurements needed to construct the main Giga Texas Giga factory in addition Joe says he has included a discussion of geotextile membranes and how they are being used at Giga Texas and then we follow along some earth movers to see the uh, uh, they work that the work that they are doing you will all see in this accompanying video from joe by the way joe thank you very much and everyone who lives in the area or send us information from giga berlin giga texas and giga shanghai we greatly appreciate your help and uh, input that you're doing guys so pain industries of san marcos texas is the surveyor of tesla giga texas yesterday on august 6 2020 they were starting the first of 27,000 survey points construction stake staking around the perimeter of the current construction site and according to two of their employees uh, are on contract to complete this work within 60 days these survey points are being used by the designers and construction company to finalize the location and orientation of the buildings that will be Giga Texas. You see what they're doing? They're finding uh, the places and locations and orientations where certain buildings will be uh, will be built. This is why it's important and this is what they're doing. In addition, they confirmed that the large power lines and power running through the middle of the construction site will remain as the cost permits and time involving in moving them would be prohibitive. I was told, says Joe, that the factory would not be able able to take power directly from the towers but the substation just at the south of the site across the Colorado River. According to Payne Industries website, uh, their land surveying and mapping experience is both deep and wide. We have the right combination of know-how, equipment, management and experience to meet all of your needs. They do oil and gas municipal design and drone surveying as well as construction staking. Uh, Founded in 2012, uh, this company, they have been servicing the land survey and mapping need that needs for Texas for nearly a decade. Their crews are uh, cross-trained to perform multiple tasks in many surveying disciplines. Viewers have asked of what um, purpose of the large black fabric areas seen in recent days at Giga Texas are for. So this video has a brief discussion to help answer this question. These are geotextile membranes and are most commonly used for separation, filtration, reinforcement, protection, and drainage. They are, um, there are also two primary types, uh, permeable and impermeable. Permeable are pieces of fabric that are porous, allowing water to pass through and can be uh, woven or non-woven. Woven membranes are, um, membranes are not very porous, but they have high load capacities. Uh, the main uses of geotextile membranes at Giga Texas for Tesla are reinforcement and to separate two different types of soil. These membranes are commonly used to building and engineering projects as they greatly improve ground stabilization and ground reinforcement because of their tensile strength. They also separate out two different types of soil which is useful when the different types of soil shouldn't mix, especially when water filtrates through the soil. As for 
for other major updates uh, uh, for today, there is uh, significant activity in the South Swamp area um, where dirt filling and compaction activities are eliminating some of the ponds in the area. Remember yesterday I reported about the activity in the North Swamp area. Today work has been going on in the South Swamp area. Also, the North Swamp area is almost completed, uh, completely devoid of trees and water and there is a lot of field dirt now deposited and ground leveling so that it is quickly becoming flat. They are also making quick work in draining the other North Pond areas and are uh, preparing to begin field and leveling operations. Soon this entire area will be flat and unrecognizable from just uh, weeks ago. So that's it for the uh, report for uh, August 6. Progress continues to be swift at Tesla Giga Texas and uh, Joe says he hopes this video showing a bit more information about field dirt and how much they likely need to import in from offsite um, helps. Okay friends stay tuned for more and uh, more updates and more uh, uh, and please subscribe to this channel, Torkner's channel, as well as Joe's channel. I will have the link in the description of this video. In the meantime, continue watching this video from Joe. And uh, thanks a lot, Joe, for sending this material. This is Armin Haryan from Torknews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell if you would like to know more about Tesla and electric cars. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.